What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanics Survival and it's been a while since we were in the survival world but we're finally back and we have lots of things to do. So you'll notice we still need to do a lot of the concrete parking area but what I want to do today is actually rip this truck in half. I love the 18 wheelers, I love the trailers, I love the concept but unfortunately the, uh, the game performance is starting to suffer. The base is being built out a little bit more and now that we've got all these different you know vehicles kind of scattered around the lag has sort of increased and i'll show you what i mean whenever we go to hook this up because they're two separate vehicles it kind of becomes like death and my computer starts basically catching on fire so i it oh it's actually hold on it's actually good for once oh no there oh boy yeah you can kind of you can kind of maybe you can't really tell it's hard to tell because of course I'm recording at a different frame rate, but it's like, it's bone crunchingly, it's a, basically a PowerPoint presentation right now. But what I want to do is basically just rip this truck and cut the chemical thing off and make it into a chemical truck. Just one truck that has the chemical bed on top of it, sort of combining this, and eventually we'll make more trucks for the other trailers as well. We have a combine now for mining, which is great. We'll have to remake the dwarf farmer carrying truck, and of course, we're going to make this. I have some ideas for the dwarf truck i think it'll be kind of fun and of course we'll have to remake the fruit truck so we'll do that at some point as well but for now we need the chemical truck we need more concrete chemicals stone kind of the two big things so we're just gonna rip this whole thing apart and uh you know we probably could have just oh boy look at that it's laggy even when i try and take it apart what i want to do is try and keep the same look of this truck so i'm gonna actually just cut it here and then we'll put like a concrete shell and fill all this up and try and just bring this axle back now of course we are gonna chop the chemical trailer i don't really know uh we're gonna keep all the controls on the chemical trailer hold on so let's just if i eject that where can i chop it i gotta chop it basically right here i think is that is that right yeah that looks good so we'll just cut this in half here and cut this whole piece off this is kind of a ridiculous project we are going to get a lot of material back too but I think this is going to be better for the future and of course just switching over instead of building you know one big truck that kind of does it all we're going to have a bunch of individual vehicles for individual purposes but I think it'll be better for game performance so there we go we have to attach this much stuff uh where did those fall from let's see here what if we just grab this in the middle right and then like, just weld that in the middle there. It looks like the stubbiest chemical truck. I think I've, like, it, I, I think, I think it needs to be longer. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to move these wheels up, obviously, and not have them with this mechanism. We're going to do it by extending this concrete axle all the way across the bottom. This should be fine. It's a relatively simple build, to be honest. We're not really doing anything too crazy we're not reinventing the wheel or anything we're just you know kind of taking a trailer and turning it into a truck which i think is actually a wicked sweet project for the other ones we're actually gonna have to build new truck front ends i think i'm gonna do at least one flat end truck like a flat nose i guess it's called because i really like the look of flat nose trucks i know i had one before and everyone was like oh god can't build a shaped truck so then i built a shaped truck but i think the flat nose truck i'm gonna use for probably the fruit crate deliveries i feel like that's more appropriate i have another idea for the farmers but i don't want to share that yet because it's a big secret and it's going to be really cool when it comes out but you know can't can't tell anybody about it for now um can we how are we going to do this here what if i just extend this out like so and then go across this is um it's going to weigh this down a bit we do have some extra paint just trying to make it look kind of like a chemical truck of course I'm probably going to just do this all wrong anyway. We're actually going to just wait until morning. We'll come finish this up. Uh, in the meantime, while it's nighttime, I'm just going to completely rip this apart and throw all the stuff in the inventory because it's dark out and no one really wants to see that anyway. Alrighty, the sun's coming back up. The trailer is gone. I want to finish this build up and then uh, go try it out. Now, I'm going to remove the suspension. I know suspension in some creations can cause a fair amount of lag. And honestly, with how well the combine does across rough terrain with no suspension, I really don't think any of the trucks we use are going to need it. So what I want to be able to do hopefully i don't know if i can actually do this maybe we'll be able to just grab this guy there and no of course not how is that 
Oh wait, no, we're missing a pipe piece. So we could leave the whole steering mechanism up in there. First of all, I'm gonna fix this paint job. What the heck was going on there? Is it bad on, oh look, it's terrible on this side too. Yeah, you know what, let's just grab an extra pipe piece and extend it down. I know it's not really great. We could drop the whole steering mechanism if we wanted to, but we don't really have to go that far to be honest. We do have a ton of these pipe pieces. There we go, couple of those. And then I wanna make the back wheels sort of in the same position. So here we go, pipe piece, pipe piece. There we go. That seems seems really low to the ground, doesn't it? Eh. You know, I think I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then this one same deal, so we're just going to cut this section out of the middle. And I think we can actually just grab this here and weld it on the other side wherever we want. No. Oh, this is going to be way too low as well. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got to chop this whole chunk out as well. Um yeah, well, that was that worked out well, didn't it? All right, so to space this correctly, we pretty much have to just weld the wheels right to like a piece. No, no, they need to be welded. Hold on, hold on a minute. Let's check this out. If we put this here and we weld this wheel onto this, oh, it won't even fit, first of all. And second of all, I think it's too wide. What if I cut this out a little bit? Does that... Well, that doesn't interfere with anything. Okay, what does this look like, though? Oh, boy. Is that the right height? That's. This looks like the worst milk truck I've ever seen in my entire life. We gotta move the wheels forward, obviously. A bearing here. And a bearing here. Right? I think this will look... Okay, I really want to keep the dualies. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm really... Not a fan of losing... Hold on. I'm terrible at building. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What does this look like? We're going to paint the bearings. I know it's very important. Everyone's probably like, I can't believe you're not painting your bearings. Did that just look so much better? It looks way too low to the ground though, doesn't it? Like this looks like the lowest truck. But it doesn't have suspension. You know, I'm not... I'm not really a huge fan of this, but I think part of the problem is we don't have the, like, this center section is missing. So let's actually just finish up the tank first so I can actually visualize this whole thing. I'm terrible at builds. I mean, this is where Moombo just kind of destroys everybody. I mean, this, uh, you know, it's so hard for me to make something good looking out of blocks. All right, that doesn't look bad. And then I think we just got to do this. I think if this is the, the key, if we take out this whole bottom section right and then bring this up a little bit sooner try and make this i don't know look kind of like something there we go and then do the same thing here and take this whole section up maybe this won't look as bad we're definitely going to accidentally cut this in half or something stupid i think it's all is it all good looks like it's all attached perfect all right i think this is going to look a little bit better uh yeah, there we go. That looks It looks like it's got more ground clearance. I mean, it still looks kind of bad. Maybe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. There's something, something off about it. But this is like me with pretty much every one of my builds. I always look at them, and then I always find something that just sort of bothers me. So I don't really know how I'm going to fix this one, to be honest. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am going to finish this up, though, because I do want to go ahead and test it again. Make sure we can get all the systems working. And actually, of course, drive up and pick up more chemicals. I do have a bunch of stone. Need more concrete for the parking area. I just noticed, like I said, that the lag was getting so bad that it was kind of time to get away from doing the truck and trailer thing and actually move on to just straight trucks for everything, which is unfortunate. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd like to have big 18-wheelers and stuff, but Scrap Mechanic really doesn't like multiple creations interacting with each other, especially not right next to the base here, so close together. So we're going to leave that like this. You know, I, I don't mind it. It's okay. There's a big hole in the floor. We'll have to patch that up. And of course, we got to make sure, very important. Uh, oh, those bearings are already painted. Fantastic. Perfect. So let's put these wheels on. Get them on the other side as well. There we go. We're just going to clean up that a little bit. We got to um, got to do something about the underside there. We're going to have to cover that up. Perfect. No, that looks okay. I'm I'm more impressed with it now. But now that it's got 
more wheels on it. I think it looks better than it did 10 seconds ago. Um, still seems kind of weird. It's got like, I don't know what, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what, what seems weird to me. Something seems off, you know, like it just seems, it seems wonky. I can't figure out, there's some dimension. It's almost like this is too, is too fat on the back maybe. Or maybe the whole cab needs to come up one, but then this needs to, I, you know, it almost feels like, yeah, the cab, that's the problem. The cab is down too low. See, if the cab was up one, and then these wheels were dropped down one, then it would feel, you know what, I'm, I don't even care. We're going to leave it like this for now. Let's hook up all the stuff that we're going to need. So we're going to have the engines driving every wheel. We shouldn't have to change the setting on those, so that's perfect. We also need to clean up the insides. So we got to get back in. Um, we need extra switches. We've got one and two. We need some more switches for all the other things. The nice thing about this setup too is we're not going to have to get out of the vehicle to do anything when we're pumping chemicals. We're just going to be able to sit there and pump everything no problem. So let's put some more switches down. Perfect. And four, five, and six, or three, four, and five. Three is going to be for the doors to open up. Four is for the one to push it out. And five is for these two to lift it up and down. Um, as well as activate all the pumps, I guess. We need five hooked into all nine pumps. Perfect. So if we test this out, uh, one is our lights. Two is... Two is nothing. Oh, two we could have... That's right. Two was the stupid um, trailer hitch thing, which we don't have anymore. So let's just delete two. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one is lights. Two is opening up the hatch. Three is deploying the whole chemical pumping guy out. That's perfect. Four lowers the chemical guy into the water and also lifts up the whole vehicle, which is fine. And then five, we can bring that up and bring it all back in. Fantastic. So let's actually cover up this stuff in here. I don't know if we actually can, um, but we can do this at least. Just bring this across like so. I don't know. It looks a little bit better in my opinion. I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I might rebuild this truck at some point to make it look even better. Spent like literally all day just trying to round that up. You know, I like that. I'm going to put something here. I'm going to put some rounded pieces. You know what? Let's just do a few more aesthetics and we'll head out again in the morning. Screw this driving at night. Driving in the morning is so much better. So we'll wait until morning. I'm going to just do... A few more rounded pieces around those like wheels kind of make some wheel well type things all right so the sun's finally coming back up i've added like literally nothing to the wheel wells i kind of just covered them up a little bit more i moved the wheels back one block i i it feels a little better but honestly i still think something's off and i'm pretty sure it has to do with like this transition here but like i said let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i am going to eventually switch the other two trailers over to some sort of dedicated vehicle as well because we are at the point where lag is kind of important. And you'll notice this has no suspension, but it doesn't really seem to have any problems dealing with the terrain. But we're just going to head over to the chemical pond and uh, pump up some chemicals. It shouldn't be any problem. I actually don't mind having dedicated vehicles for everything. Obviously, we got to, you know, transport gas from one to the other. And we're going to need more engines because we're going to need like a level five engine for each of the different vehicles, as well as, you know, an individual fuel tank for each one. So there's definitely more supplies we need. But of course, the nice thing is when we're parking them, we're not going to have to deal with all the trailer lag and the issues with kind of having all these individual trailers that are just free-floating objects. Um, and uh, I guess the other nice thing is when we do stuff like this, we can just grab the vehicle, put it on a lift, and then get going again. All right, here's the chemical pond. Sometimes there's a red guy here, so hopefully that's not the case. But we should be fine just driving through here sometimes he spawns like right in that forest scares the living bejeebus out of me every time he does but i think we're okay we got a haybot chasing us but i mean that's not the end of the world and then of course after the last time we were here i put in a dock look at this this really really helped when i had the 18 wheeler in the trailer obviously backing the trailer up and getting it lined up here but it should be no problem with this truck look at that we just back her right in and then um press two and three and three and three and three okay okay can we hold on just oh boy oh boy didn't want to... there we go just kind of had to jostle it free there look at that and then if we press four 
We should be rocking in the chemical. Fantastic. All right, we're going to use this to pump more concrete. There's definitely... I thought there was a haybot here. It's just a cow. Cow. Oh, God. Here comes a tote bot. You're dead. All right. Well, this is actually pretty sweet. I'm really, really happy this works. It's going to be nice. It's going to be able to gather a ton of chemicals super, super quickly. And, of course, now that we've got a truck... It's just a little bit better of a setup, to be honest. It's going to be a lot easier to have individual trucks parked in the base. We're going to need a little bit less space for the parking platform. And the nice thing, too, is we can actually kind of spread the platforms out if the lag gets really bad. My main concern was just now that whenever I hook up a trailer in the base, it goes down to like 10 frames per second. And I feel like that's just not good enough, especially if I want to build more and more vehicles later on, which I definitely want to do. So it makes more sense at this point to start switching to individual dedicated vehicles for each of the things we want to do rather than having all these trailers. I mean, the other option, I guess, is we could have just welded each of the trailers onto the truck when we attached them. But I don't really enjoy doing that as much as actually just having individual vehicles for their functions. Maybe we'll actually finish the wall. Wouldn't that be great? We've been playing survival now for a couple months and haven't even finished the front wall on the base, to be honest, or done max tier raids on the base. So we got to do those things as well. Maybe even consider getting the spud gatling gun and the spud shotgun. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.